Capricorn. <laughs> I was just about to say Capricornski. All of a sudden there is this I don't even know what that is. It feels to me uh, when I when I when I when I was about to press record uh, a sort of Eastern European presence comes in. So um you know um Capricornski. I'm sure nobody says Capricornski. It just reminds me of, of uh, you know, when I'm in Germany, you have loads of people that are from Poland or Russia, and they have um, ski as a, in the end as, on their names and stuff. So anyway, so that's why my brain just went Capricornski. So obviously, <laughs> this is for you, Capricorn. Point is, anyone out there who is watching this right now has a relationship or any relation to um, to people from the east. <laughs> if that makes sense. Or are indeed um, Eastern Bloc, as we used to call it back in the day, um, or is in any shape or form uh, connected to Russia, Poland, that sort of area. Pay a bit extra attention because my feeling is: see, my guides don't do small talk, and while I'm naturally funny, I believe um, I don't press buttons and all of a sudden I go into some weird stuff. This is all spirit led. So, but I'm having this connection here to 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 what I would see as, you know, back in the day, I'm, I was born in, in, in 67, so I'm turning 56. Um, so when I watched when I watched movies, you only had two types of villains. It would be us, the Germans, <laughs> or it would be the Russians, depending on what movie you watched. So it's all bollocks anyway. Um, but the point is, um, the energy here is about that part of the world. So therefore, in my in my own understanding and my logic and my memory and my 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 experience with all of this, is that it is related to to uh, one, someone who is watching this, right? Anyway, so let's look at the overall energy for the months ahead for the sign of Capricorn before we then move forward and look at your emotional core, and then again move forward to look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of March twenty twenty three. And please, please, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Now, Capricorns. For the overall energy for the month of March 2023, you have very positive, very positive energy here. You have the term, well, you have Sagittarius, which is which is interesting. Um because it is about you know healing, right? So Sagittarius is is, is connected to Chiron, 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 the the wounded healer, and you are now in that state at this point in time in March twenty twenty three Capricorns, where you don't really have to deal with. Sounds a bit weird. They're asking you to to not dismiss stuff, but be in the now, right? Yes, there may be some things that you have to go through that that originated way back when but your energy is to expand so anything you touch should be expanding and so therefore in order to make that work um number one the universe is saying we're giving you the energy uh, that will help you to achieve much more than you probably thought you could in the month of march and the number on my card here i'm using an astrology card deck is the number nine which is the number of completion which is bloody awesome and then you have the term nurture which means you do what you feel you want to do to then manifest what it is you want to manifest and to achieve and to get. Really, really important because the the energy of nurture has the number 11, right? Um, and the number 11 is the highest master number there is. In numerology, there's only two master numbers, 11 and 22, and 22 because only they would fit into a... Um, calendar and 11 is the first same digit number known as a master number and is the strongest number there is when it comes to uh, numbers if that makes sense and all the guides are saying to you is if you if you put yourself first and nurture what it is you want really really important um that's the way to go in in march and capricorns you're not asked to be selfish it is not selfish to reflect on your life and say like, what the heck am I doing with my time? And make changes, even if nobody else understands it. Okay, are we clear, Crystal? Okay, now let's move on to your emotional core. See what the universe has got for you there. Capricorns and, wow. You have abundance. 
what that means is in in relationships so you have you have the term abundance and it is related to the planet of jupiter now jupiter is the is is the first planet that ever formed after the so-called big bang and the uh, point is that it's a happy go lucky happy go lucky planet right so so jupiter's energy is about um bringing in joy and so when you have abundance so all they're saying to you when it comes to your, your emotions or your 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 love life if that makes sense manifesting love life or the relationship you're in you get the most out of it when you are looking at it from a light-hearted point of view so even things that may feel really difficult find a way to see this a bit more detached a bit more light-hearted and also if you have trust issues which is sort of what i'm getting here um they don't go anywhere unless you let them go right you know you cannot control anything especially not how how you how you feel um when you're in love for instance right so don't even try to to control it um and when you are worried about the next relationship being as shit or as shitty as the one before that's what you manifest always understand that and when you say someone you know you have to deserve me first i'm better than this and i'm not dealing with that type of person there's a much better chance that the universe uh, finally sends you someone a bit more fitting you understand that but the point is everything has to do with your energy your attitude is everything but you have abundance and light-heartedness and if you want to get more out of a relationship or indeed manifest a relationship in the month of march 2023 um the 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 more light-hearted and the more detached you go towards it the easier this will be now the good thing here is that um they're not highlighting healing so energetically speaking no matter what your state is um if you see things more lightheartedly, you might also get therefore get through a relationship or, or through the remnants of a relationship much easier. Okay, so and now finally, let's look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2023 for the signs of Capricorn. Here we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you have beloved Venus and the number three. So number three is the number of progression which means if you want opportunities, grab them by the balls, right? Don't, don't hope and sit there. Oh, someone says they're going to give me a call back when that, you know, that kind of stuff. Not going to work for you. Most importantly, when it comes to opportunities, opportunities are oftentimes about what sustains you sort of financially and what you do with your life, if that makes sense. So it's connected. While money is not a spiritual currency, it cannot be manifested. Um, to a certain extent, we all deal with it. Uh, and the point they're making here with regards to progressing hence the number three in your work life in anything you do holding on to whatever it is you have it has to be done with integrity and it has to be done with 150 percent love don't do anything that you don't would that you wouldn't do for free if that makes sense right so because you have beloved here and venus venus is the planet uh, of love uh, it's also interesting because um, <laughs> Venus is the energy here um, that, that also comes through, which, which is a, uh, uh, the planet actually governs Libra and Taurus, even though we're now with, with Capricorn. All planets, apart from Venus, use, uh, sorry, move anti-clockwise. So, spiritually speaking, when we move anti-clockwise, you take shit out. Whatever it is you, don't, you no longer need, you take out. Right? That is the movement of anti-clockwise. And then Venus course is the only one that moves clockwise and clockwise movement means you put harmony in and so therefore being being in march being the person that in your work or in whatever it is you want to achieve or do you put harmony in will only really work when you put harmony into something that you actually believe in that you really truly love right so it's about time to reflect on where are you in life and then not follow the masses, the masses or, or whatever else you think needs to happen in order to sustain you, really, really important. Um, time to reflect, look at what it is you really want to do, say to the guides, come on, we're making this happen and you help me and if you need me to work harder, I will. That's how I always talk to my guides. Um, and um, thus far, it works. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much. That was all we got time for. You got your reading. And um, like I said, you're watching Thomas's Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And I see you hopefully all 
next month. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.